Well, the dubious phrase rats of the sky, that may no longer be an appropriate moniker for pigeons. We have one study that finds pigeons can identify cancer tissue on x-rays. The experiments, they're finding that these birds that can pick out the disease, specifically breast tissue cancer, with an accuracy rate of up to 99%. This could help develop new imaging techniques. Now, these pigeons, they're selecting the image, Jose, based on color. We have a tiny clip of one of these pigeons. Take a look. Now this was done on a series of three experiments led by Richard Levinson. He's a pathology professor and what he's saying, he's feeding these birds, first mm -hmm. of all. Every time they pick the color that's right that has the cancer in it, they get a little treat. And we understand that pigeons, they're highly, um, how should we say this? It, in, they work for food. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. So my question is, fascinating study. This could change the way we look at diagnostic imaging. But at the same time, he's feeding these pigeons. Totally. Every time they get the correct color right, that's a little Pavlov's dogs to me. What do he's you think? totally like that. But I think it's very interesting that they were trying to exploit uh, very important feature of, of pigeons is that they're very visually developed, as developed as humans. And the whole experiment was based on showing the tissue, and if, and there was a blue dot and a yellow dot, and they will pick on the right one. Okay, and if they got it color. wrong, they'll show the same image, and they'll feed them only if they got the right answer. So after they compounded all the information, they found that they were 99% accurate. If they were doing like an individual assessment, they oscillated in between 50 and 85. But once they did a flock assessment, as it's, as it's called, it was a 99% accuracy. Now, we're not gonna rely on pigeons to uh, detect cancer, but... You still want an oncologist, don't well, you? Well, exactly, I think that what they, what they are trying to see is maybe they see something that humans are not seeing and we can correlate that. I don't think they will be helping di diagnose, unlike those dogs that we talked not too long ago, those dogs, the sniffing dogs that were able to find it's breast tree. tissue, is, is sniff cancer to very high accuracy. And it's lovely to see that science relies on animals and uh, specific abilities of animals to help us cure diseases. Hey, pigeons, formerly annoying the hell out of you, now diagnosing cancer just for you. My question is though, isn't this what um, a surgeon or a trained um, oncologist would do looking at these images, picking out the color pinpoints, isn't that exactly the same thing that they would be it doing? Is. It is, exactly, that's what they're doing. But I think the whole point of experiment was to find if the way that pigeons identify images was more reliable than the, you know, the human eye and the, and, the, and the possibility of human error. Maybe if you kind of support the diagnosed process just in, in, just in the image. It just, this was all based on x-rays. Right. It was pigeons looking at x-rays, no tissue involved. So uh, I think it was a very novel experiment, but at the same time, I, I'm, I'm a little skeptical of how real the connection to uh, treatment or right. the actual you don't want a diagnose process you. You or diagnosing you. You don't mind. I wouldn't mind if one yeah. diagnosed me as long as, it, as long as it didn't treat me. This is what the study said. It said they share many visual system properties with humans. You know, show me a pigeon that goes to medical school and then I might be impressed.